Hello everybody, how you doing? Just want to tell you hello and I love you. Um, back again, trying to do what uh, I'm supposed to do, and that's speak the gospel. And I know I'm new at it, and you might not agree with some of my videos, but I'm learning. And uh, I believe everything comes from the heart. And I believe the Holy Spirit speaks to me, and, um, and and tells me a lot of stuff to say. And today. This one is uh, Seek the Presence First. Then go heal the sick and cast out devils and all that. But first let's, um, let's say a prayer because I had wrote a lot down. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord God, for who you are. I just love you and I praise you. And this is all for the glory of God. This is all for the glory of God. I thank you, Father God. And I speak to, to anybody out there who's listening bless you in Jesus name Jesus is King bless you in Jesus name ministry angels come down and, and be with them right now as, as I speak from the heart Lord God and Holy Spirit speak through me in Jesus name right now in Jesus name I love you and I thank you I thank you father I thank you so much glory to God Jesus is in control in Jesus name Amen. Okay, so uh, okay, let's go to Mark three thirteen to fifteen. Now, presence first. Okay, then go heal and cast out demons. Okay, so basically, Mark. 3, 13 to 15, I'm going to read from the Amplified Version, and any version you want to read from, but uh, I just really want people to understand this, and it seems like a lot of people don't understand the Bible too much. So, uh, you ready? Mark, thir Mark 3, 13 to 15. And he went up on the hillside and called to him for himself. Those who whom he wanted and chose, and they came to him. And he appointed twelve to continue to be with him. So, Jesus appointed twelve to continue to be with him, okay? So what is that saying? He called the twelve. Come here. Come and be with me. So what are they doing? What are they doing? If the twelve disciples were called to come and be with Jesus, what is happening? They're going into the presence. His presence. Okay? They're going to listen to him. He's going to speak to him. The main thing is they're going to be in his presence. He's preparing them by being in his presence to learn from him, to get what they can from him, you know, by being in his presence. And then And 14 and he appointed 12 to continue to be with him in his presence there it is and that he might send them out to preach so first be in the presence with him and then he sends them out to preach as apostles or, or messengers special messengers and in 15 it says and to have authority and power to heal the sick and drive out demons okay so, presence first, and then go out and preach, and heal the sick, and drive out demons. Alright? So, that's important. Okay, now, so now Jesus went up to be up there, but they sent down the Holy Spirit. God sent down the Holy Spirit, which is Jesus, which is God, inside of us. So before we go out and do what we need to do, we got to get in God's presence. We got to 
We gotta know who God is. He's gonna show us who He is if we if we seek Him. We will find Him, right? If we ask, you know, He'll let us know. But we gotta ask. You know, he's waiting patiently for us to seek Him out, for seek His presence, to have an intimate relationship with Him. And no matter what you do, you have a relationship. You have His presence. You seek Him first. And then go out and do the will of God. Then go out and minister and preach and lay hands and, and speak the good news. But you got to seek His presence. And remember, everything you do is for the glory of God. For the glory. Everything, no matter what it is. If you're walking in Christ, you do it all for the glory of God. Amen? So, seek His presence first and then go. And pretty much be Jesus. Act like Jesus, be Jesus. Jesus is in you. You know, de yourself decrease and Jesus increase. Amen? Glory to God. Okay, so now turn to John 1.12. And I'm going to read from the King James Version. Um, that's good with me. Uh, so, whatever version you got, We'll read along. John 1 12. Okay, it says, uh, But as many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God, even to them that believed in his name. Okay, so as many people who received him, as many, it didn't say a couple, as many, as many. So anybody who receives Jesus as Lord and Savior, and they become born again. To them he gave power. To them he gave power to become a son of God. The sons of God. Okay, so you can't just become a son of God unless you receive the anointing. You receive the, the born again. The um, You receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior and confess it with your mouth. And then you become sons of God. And what is sons of God? servant. Someone who's ready to go out for the glory of God and do the will of God. Make disciples. Save souls. Save souls. Save souls. Why did Jesus come down? Why did Jesus come down? Um, I wrote this down. I'm just going to throw it in there. Why did Jesus come down? To destroy the works of the devil. Okay? To destroy the works of the devil. That's why Jesus came down. To destroy the works of the devil. Did you hear that? I'm going to stand up real quick. I need to get a little higher. There we go. A little bit. There we go. I had to sit on a pillow. <laughs> Jesus came down to destroy the works of the devil. Now, um... I just threw that in there. So now we're going to go to Mark eleven twenty four. We just did uh, uh, John 1, 12. But as many received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe his name. Even if you believe in his name. Those who believe in his name got the same power. Be sons of God. Okay, Mark 20, 11, 24. It says, um, Mark eleven twenty four in the King James Version. Therefore I say unto you that what things soever you desire, what, whatever you pray for, when you pray, if you believe, whatever, soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you received it, you shall have it. So whatever you pray for, Whatever it is, it didn't say a limited things, it said whatever. So whatever you desire, whatever you pray for, if you in your heart have faith and believe that you received it, you will have it. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. 
Matthew 21, 22. I'm reading from the King James. You don't have to. Matthew 21, 22. Let's give you a couple moments. Turn the pages or Google it. Glory to God. Jesus is in control. Jesus is king. These verses are very important. Because a lot of people think everything's peachy keen. You know? They ain't nothing to worry about. You know, they got their good jobs. They got their good lifestyle. They're happy. But they, got, they don't understand. You can't go through life thinking that you're not in a war. Because you're in a war. You're in a war. There's a spiritual battle right now for your soul. Don't think there's not. Don't think there's not. If you do, there's something wrong with you. There's a spiritual battle for your soul going on right now. All around you, there's angels fighting for you. Jesus died for you. You got to get this. Don't think there's not a war going on. There is. It's for your soul. Amen. So you're over there, uh, Matthew 21, 22. All right, here we go. And all things whatsoever. There it is again. And all things. All things. Whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer. All things, whatever you ask in prayer, believing, you shall receive. Come on now. It's, that's plain and simple. You know, don't make it complicated. Whatever you ask in prayer, if you believe you received it, you'll have it. Amen? Jesus is king. You know that God gives us, gives us, me, you, a constant unlimited power just to to we just got to learn how to use it power God gives us unlimited power but we got to learn how to use it the same spirit in me is in you the same spirit that resurrect the dead is in me and in you the same spirit that created the earth is in me and you that's power that's power you have no idea that you you through Jesus Christ, for the glory of God, you can access that power. Not for you. It's in you to be used for the glory of God. Amen? That's, that's serious. Don't ever think it's you. I never think it's me. Maybe I might word things as but it's not me. It's not me. It's it's the Holy Ghost in me. And he's learning how to how to make me stronger and bolder. And I, I'm, I'm starting to step into the no fear area. And every once in a while, when I and I when I know that I'm, uh, I get scared. Ooh, ooh, oh no, no. There's no reason to be scared. Jesus is right here inside of me, waiting for me to step out in faith and do the will of God. He's right here. He's ready to. I, I got access to that power. I just gotta, I gotta have faith in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. It's like when the baby eats. The baby picks up a spoon. You don't know how to pick up a spoon yet. You know, hit himself in the face and all that. Well, that's just the power. We don't know how to use it. Presence first. Learn how to get in presence of God. He'll show you. He'll show you. In Jesus' name. You know, the devil will come out at you with everything he can. The devil's going to come at you with everything he can. The worst things that you think is happening to you or you know is happening to you you got to believe in your heart the Holy Ghost in you can stomp that devil the Holy Ghost in you can stomp the devil in Jesus name amen okay so we did Matthew 21. Let's go to Matthew 10, 8, 10, 7, and 8. Turn to Matthew 10, 7, and 8. Matthew 10, 7, and 8. God is the provider, people. Jesus will be with you and ready to help those who believe. Amen. Amen. 
before you can get to a place where your prayers are answered and you and your faith is higher you must renew your mind you must you must throw away that human logic and start thinking Jesus logic Jesus in the name of Jesus those who believe all things are possible that's serious how are you gonna walk in Christ not believing that all things are possible from because the, the Holy Ghost in you he died. He first got to believe he died for our sins. He died on that cross. He, his body was beaten and he bled for us. Whatever you do, it's all for the kingdom of God. The glory of God. If you're praying for something for yourself, that's fine. But when God delivers and answers that prayer, <coughs> then tell everybody. If you're praying for your finances, then all of a sudden, some money comes your way through somebody, some, somehow, your avenues, I don't know. And you go, whoa, whoa, I was praying for that. And you don't tell nobody, then you didn't get that for the glory of God. Okay? So tell somebody. Tell as many people as you can, hey, I prayed. And I got, I got these bills paid, or I, I, you know, I got food, I didn't have it, you know, and I prayed. And, and it came through, God came through for me, through my prayer. Glory to God, and tell people. It's all for the glory of God. We need to die to self, and let Jesus renew our self. I got a prayer right here. Jesus, help me decrease, so you can increase in Jesus' name. Okay, so are you at uh, Matthew 10, 7, and 8? I'm going to read it. As ye go, as you go preach, as you go preach, as you go preach, what does it say? Not as me. As you. As you. Which probably is me. <laughs> but it's you. As you go. He's not saying when the weather's right, when the weather's right, or he's not saying... If the circumstances are right, you know, if the sun is perfect, if the temperature's right. No, 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 no. He's not saying that. He's saying, as you go, preach. Amen? As you go, preach. Saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely ye give. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. In Jesus' name. Yes, Father. Thank you, Father. Always give your prayers with thanksgiving. And remember, it's for the kingdom of God. Amen. Praise you, God. If you want a healing and you and you pray, someone prays for you and you get it, then you need to tell people. You need to not say, oh, wow, uh, it got better. Uh, uh, and that's it. No. You need to recognize the fact that you had prayed for that healing. You got healed. And now, go tell people so it's for the glory of God. You know, you don't want to lose that blessing. And stop sinning. Amen. Also, two families should seek heaven together. As a family, with prayer and fasting. As a family. Amen. As you go, Matthew 10, 7, as you go, preach saying, preach what? The gospel, the good news. Saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. At hand is here. The kingdom of heaven is here. Hallelujah, Jesus' name. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils freely. You have received freely, you give. Amen? Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Now, that's the word of God right there, Matthew 10, 7, 8. That's the word of God. What is it saying to do? Go preach. Go, you know, you, I've said it already. Go speak the good news. And heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out the devils. Freely you receive, freely you give. Okay, so if you're not doing the word of God, what the word of God is telling you to do, right there, Matthew 10, 7, 8. 
then you are sinning. I don't think you're not. Because if you believe the Word of God, you're going to be doing the Word of God. If you love Jesus, if you love God, then you're going to show up by doing His Word. This is what He's telling you to do. Okay? This is the Word of God. Go do it. Don't be a sinner. You must submit to God. You must submit. You must devote your entire life to Him. You must love Him unconditionally. Loyalty. Um, 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 persistence. You must be responsible in Christ. Responsible. If, if God tells you to pray for somebody and you don't and they die, who's, whose fault is that? You could have prayed for them. They could be living if you would have obeyed. You don't know because you didn't pray. But what if? What if? What if he did say, can I pray for you? And the Lord, it's life or death. Be responsible. Think of it as life or death. Jesus is king. You must submit to the king. It's all about saving souls. It's all about saving souls. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Matthew 10, 7, 8. <sighs> Praise God. Okay, I got another one. Last one. Mark 16, 17, and 18. Mark chapter 16, verse 17 and 18. Go ahead and turn to that. Now I want you to know that, like I said, it's your responsibility to go lay hands and go heal the sick, go speak, preach the gospel, go make disciples, save souls. It's your responsibility. That's what the Bible tells you. Okay? Now, I want you to know that God's ready to use you. You don't have to worry about the gifts of the Spirit or all that stuff because He's ready to give you those gifts. He's ready to use you. You just go in faith and do it. And if you don't see results right away, don't stop doing it. Don't turn away like a lot of people. Oh, I don't have the gift of healing. Yes, you do. You just Your faith needs to grow. And you keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. Keep preaching. Keep telling the people Jesus loves them. Keep speaking the good news. It's going to all come together. Perseverance in Christ. Just go do it. In Jesus' name, lay hands on somebody. Say, I speak life into you in Jesus' name. And that's all you got to do. Okay? You're going to start seeing your results because Jesus is waiting for you to do it. He's inside of you. He's waiting to start on fire, to go. And a lot of people say, oh, I can't pray for something until I get prayed up or until I fast. Why not? It didn't say that. It didn't say that. It said, go, preach. Matthew 10, 7. Go preach. The kingdom of God is here. It's here at hand. Go. Go lay hands on the sick. Okay? Don't worry about something jumping on you because if you're on fire for God, ain't nothing going to land on you. People, the, the enemy is going to run from you. Okay? Learn how to have strength and be bold. You are a soldier. There's a war going on. And you know what? Like, like in America, we have all these tanks and missiles and all that stuff. You know what? You got Jesus, the creator of the world in you that's the that's the best mm, mm, mm. Jesus is king and Jesus is in control okay God's with you that's all you need you're gonna get attacked but you press through and you believe that Jesus is with you and he's in control amen don't cloud it up. Don't complicate it. Do what the verse said. Alright. So let's go to the last one. Mark 16. Verse 17 and 18. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Amen. You understand that? In the name. In my name shall they cast out devils. In my name. That's Jesus name. The signs will follow those who believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak in new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And they shall drink 
any deadly thing and it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick <coughs> and they shall recover. <coughs> I, didn't, I, didn't hear, I didn't see a maybe in there at all. I didn't see they might recover. I didn't see that. Did you? Did you see that? Let's look at it again. Check your Bible right now. Mark 16, verse 17 and 18. Let me see. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak in new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. I didn't see a maybe in there at all. That means do it. And start seeing the power of God move through you. Amen. No matter who you are or how you are, no matter if you're the smartest person in the world or someone who's not as smart, whatever you got, how much money you got, that don't matter because if you don't have Jesus in you, you are dead. Simple as that. You got it? Jesus is king. Jesus is the only thing that matters. What works? Want to know what works when you go out? When you all go out and speak? Where do you go out? Jesus' name. It's Jesus' name that works. Do everything in Jesus' name for the glory of God. And start seeing results and start saving souls. When the time comes when Jesus takes his people, you want to know when you go to the pearly gates, he's going to say, what have you done? You're going to say, oh, I went to church every Sunday and I had communion every other Sunday. Is that it? Is that it? How many souls did, how many souls did you save? How many souls did you save? Because that's what it's about. The glory of God. Showing people that God is still alive today and He's in us. It's all about saving souls, all about the glory of God, the kingdom of God, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Be proud. We're so lucky. We're so lucky. Yes. Jesus is the name. That's what works. Don't get technical. Don't get all scientific about it. Go preach. Go lay hands. <laughs> That's it. You know? Sorry, it works. And it's not Jesus. I mean, it's not me. It's Jesus that's healing. It's not me. It's not you. Don't ever think it's you. It's God using. You are a tool for God. He will. His power will manifest through you. It's already in you, waiting to come out. His power will manifest through you, and people will get healed. And people will get delivered, and demons will run out of them. It takes practice, I know. But you ain't going to get no practice if you don't go try. I am obedient to Jesus. I will obey him. And the devil will fear me because of what I can do when Jesus uses me. And when Jesus is in me on fire. Amen? Ugh. Oh yeah, did I tell you about this verse, Matthew 10, 7? <laughs> Go preach! That's okay if we have um, family time, play time, and all that stuff. That's wonderful. But when it's time for kingdom business, be serious. It's life or death. It's life or death. Jesus is king. And no matter what is wrong with you, Jesus can heal you. You got to get that renewing your mind. You know, you keep thinking he, you, you're going to stay sick forever, then, you know, the spoken word. Now, I've heard people tell me, I've been sick this for 20 years, and then, and then I pray for them, and then they start saying stuff like, uh, oh, I got this, and I got that. Just, I don't want to hear it. I prayed for you. Believe you're healed. Amen. You know, once you go over ten things, sickness, ten sicknesses, that's too much. Right? You're gonna mess with my faith. Don't tell me all oh, twenty-five things wrong with you. 
I'll hear a couple. And sometimes the best if I don't hear. <laughs> Jesus is king. Jesus is Lord. If Jesus can raise the dead, if God can raise Jesus from the dead, he can heal you. That's it. Hope I said enough. Believe, 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 believe. Presence first. Presence first. Learn how to be in God's presence. Learn how to talk to Him. Have a relationship with Him. He'll be answering all your questions if you listen and renew your mind. You know, you got to die to self. That's it. Your flesh is not a good flesh. Your flesh wants to just lie to you and take you away from the truth. Your flesh, mm mm. That's no good. You got to die to self. So you, so, so you got to decrease yourself. Decrease your old man. Put it to the side. Stop listening to your old self. Start listening to the new creation that's in you. In Jesus' name. Give yourself to God. Pick up the cross today. Don't wait. Watch my videos. Jesus loves you and I love you. And I hope you understand this. I hope you just understood this. You know, I try to say it the best way I can. But I, 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 I just, I get so mad at sin. I get so mad at the enemy. You know, he's, he's throwing darts at me right now while I'm doing this. He's throwing darts. He don't want these videos to go out. He don't want people to know the truth. That you have the power to be a, a, the ultimate warrior in Christ Jesus. Jesus gives us that power when we go out and use it. When we go out and say, Lord God, uh, I'm going to listen. I'm going to obey you. I'm going to do this for the glory of God, for the kingdom. Oh. Hmm. Does anybody out there wants me to pray for them? Call me up. You know, you can email me. Uh, I say, watch my videos. My number's in it all over. Um, I love you. I, I'm, I'm going to pray for a thousand people a day if I could. <laughs> I love Jesus. And I love telling people. And I love I love to, 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 to pray for people. I'm learning how to do this. And I'm trying different styles, you know, different, different ways of praying. Because um, um, some people are not receptive. You know, and um, uh, I got a testimony. Uh, I'll just say it real quick. Uh, the crosswalk lady, I was walking the kids to school. Um, uh, she had an arm brace on. I said, Hey, uh, can I pray for you? And I've already prayed for her uh, the last uh, about three, four months ago when, when the kids were coming home from school. I, I, they were by themselves and she wasn't crosswalking people. And I just prayed for her and another crosswalk lady. And so I saw her, she had an arm brace on, and, and what's going on? She goes, it's messed up, my, my arm's messed up. And uh, so what happened? She goes, I don't know, torn something. She goes, it just hangs, my hand just hangs. It's really bad. And I go, well, can I just pray for you real quick? I don't see no kids, you're not gonna be crossing nobody right now. She goes, all right. So I just, and I tried this new new thing, I, I, I you know, divine healing uh, school I went through, 18, hour, 18 hours worth of video. But anyways, I just real quick, I just really quick, you know, normally I like to hold, you know, hold, put my hands on for a while, but, you know, but I just did it without feeling anything, without knowing anything. You know, I did it on faith. And I just put my hands on it real quick. In Jesus' name, I command this infirmity to go now in Jesus' name. And let go. Okay, I let go. I just said in Jesus' name, new bones, new ligaments, new tendons. I wasn't touching them more. I just said it, pointed at it in Jesus' name. I walked to school. Pick up my kids next day, going to school. The arm brace was off. I said, what's going on? She goes, I go, your arm brace is off. And she says, yeah. She goes, I'm trying it out. It feels better. I'm like, well, amen. Can I just uh, real quick touch it? I touch it in Jesus' name. Be healed completely in Jesus' name. Walked away. God bless you. Jesus loves you. I'll see you. I pick up my kids. I go back to uh, to, to home. And the next day I seen, uh, she. I just walked up to her. I go, hi. She goes, you're a wonderful, amazing man. I go, yeah, <laughs> thank you. And I go, what's up, your arm's healed? And she's like, yeah. I said, well, it's all for the glory of God. It's all for the glory of God, right? But you know what? I could have walked past and just let just seen that arm brace. No, actually, I couldn't have because God tells me to pray for people. But if I wasn't obedient, I could have walked right past and she would be suffering, right? Don't do that. It's life or death. 
It's life or death. That crosswalk lady just found out Jesus is real. She might have already knew it. But she knows it more, more, and more. Her faith grew. Now maybe someday she'll pray for somebody else. Well, I'll tell her. I'll say, your arm better? Yeah, I'll go pray for somebody else. <laughs> I love you. God bless you. Jesus love you. I'm going to end with a prayer. Heavenly Father, I love you and I thank you, Lord God. I hope that everybody understood this message. I hope I said it right, Lord God, with my with love. Lord God, it's all about love, Lord God. I just thank you, Father. I just thank you so much for who you are. And this is all for the glory of God, for the kingdom, Lord God. I speak life into those watching right now in Jesus' name. Baptize them. Baptize them, Father. Baptize them in the Holy Spirit, Lord God. Give them life right now, Lord God. Angels, touch them. Touch them in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Right now. If there's somebody with a headache, I, I'm thinking headache right now. Right now, I command that headache to leave and loosen in the name of Jesus. It's done. It's done in the name of Jesus. Now, now receive it and believe it. Mark 11, 24. Whatever you pray for, if you believe that you received it, it will happen. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. God bless you. Jesus loves you. And uh, check out my videos on YouTube. Uh, search Reginald Soto. Uh, there's a lot. Um, if you want to support the ministry, get a hold of me. Call me up. Email me. I'm always looking for food, for homeless people, clothing. I'm still trying to raise money for a giant tub to bat baptize people in my front yard. I'm not afraid. If you got a pool in your backyard and you're not baptized, call me up. I'll, I'll come over if you're in my area. And, uh, and, and, uh, and, uh, and you know, we could have a big barbecue at your house and, and make it a nice thing. Take some pictures and let and you die, die in the water and come out alive in Christ. Amen. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. You want to get spirit baptized? Come on over. You know, and then let's say some prayers and let's get on it. Let's get on it and let's get you spirit baptized. Amen. I love you. I love you. Bye-bye.